This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. Unit 3, which is Animation and Games. Lesson 11, Conditionals, Part 8. More practice with Booleans. And think, Booleans, true, false. Let's use one more Boolean expression to check the conditional of a sprite. Conditional, right? So that's checking if uh, greater than, less than, if it's equal, all that stuff. You can use a council.log command, which will log stuff to the councils for us to read. That's for humans. Uh, command to check whether it's to s its scale is 2 yet. Yeah, so council logs are for programmers to read. It's not something seen by anyone else, and it's to debug, usually. Add this. Add a council.log statement. Add a Boolean expression inside a true-false type of expression. The council.log that checks whether the fruit scale is greater than 2. All right, so we need a council log. If we're gonna, uh, oh, great, we're already here. So if we're gonna check if the fruit scale is greater than two, I wanna put it under the fruit scale. Okay, and then is greater. So I probably need, well, something with a greater than sign. And remember, a Boolean, th uh, these conditional op operators are checking, hey, is this, Double equals means, is this equal to each other, right? Because the single equals is only for variables, right? This means, hey, is this greater than, okay? So we want to check if fruit scale is greater than two. So how big are we making it? That's what we're checking. So we're going to grab this thing, zoop, all right? And now we need our sprite, scale, and I can drop it in using a corner. And the name of our sprite, we need to delete that because it's named sprite. It's not named scale. And is it greater than 2? So fruit scale greater than 2. Or if I read it from this way for some reason, 2 is less than fruit scale. We're asking the computer, right? So this actually means is it. We're not making it true. We're asking if it's true. Okay? And council log will log to the council down here. And that's to debug. All right, let's see what we got. False, 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 false. Oh, it's true. Why did it change? Oh, because fruit scale equals fruit scale plus 0 0.1. So as, and remember, function draw loops through. So it draws it once, adds 0 point, adds 0 0.01 to the scale, which was tiny at first, right? So let's reset it. Tiny, and then goes back through. And then it goes back through. And each time, background.white, it erases what was there and draws it again, instantly, and again, and again, which is why it looks like it's growing. And then our council log lets us know this is true once it is greater than 2. So we can keep track of timing and stuff like that. And who knows, maybe we want the apple to break after that. So in code, we could create something that would do that. That's really neat. Do we... Oh, great. Yeah, let's keep going. 